Jet Nolan here, live on a Thursday morning. I'm norm normally with you on a Wednesday. So I'm going to be doing the next four Thursday mornings. So we're just waiting for people to come in and I just, I just read this wonderful, um, it's called Opening Doors Within by Eileen Caddy. Um, so on the 25th of March, she writes this. So I'd like to share this with you. As more and more love is released into the world, a wonderful healing is taking place. It is like balm poured into wounds, healing and making whole. Love starts within the individual. It starts in you. And it grows like a seed bursting forth and revealing great beauty and wholeness. It is what is taking place now. Many souls feel that something is happening to them, but they are bewildered and do not realize what it is. They search within, sorry, they search without, hoping to find a clue which will show them what is taking place. Other souls are stir stirring but are afraid of what they will feel. For it is new, it is strange and unknown, and they try to shut it out. Nothing will be able to stop this release of love. It is like the genuine, it is like the genie in the bottle. Having been released, it cannot be put back again. It cannot be hidden or ignored. Gradually, it will begin to reveal itself in everyone. It has come to stay. So that love is within. So this is a, a wonderful lady. Um, I got this book in Finthorn up in the north of Scotland. And it's an eco village. And this lady, Eileen Caddy, would have founded that place. And I went there to do um, a week-long learning of um, soul, body and mindfulness. And it was a very enjoyable uh, week. So welcome everybody. I see Karina is in and Mags Murphy. Um, um, and Noel Cronin is in. Well, thank you for being here. So this morning I'm hoping to do some Tai Chi. Um, but first we're going to do a nice little getting here, uh, just helping us to arrive into this space and um, just thinking of all of the things that you had to do this morning to, in order to arrive here and to give yourself this time. So just noticing what's holding you right now. So if you're standing, maybe the floor is holding you. If you're sitting, maybe the chair that's holding you. and your breath. So just noticing for a moment the support that you're getting from your breath right now. And the support from Mother Earth underneath you. Feeling the gravity in underneath the Earth keeping you here on this planet. So no matter what we have to face and no matter what's going on, feeling that stability and security. From our breath, from Mother Earth and all of the things that are holding us. So just slowing that down now, slowing the mind down, just seeing if you can park up the things that are going on in your mind right now. Our minds are designed to be quite active. So just see if you can 
put all of those things aside so that you can enjoy your class this morning. Just park them up. They'll be there again when you're finished. Yeah, and just allow yourself now to become more and more present to yourself. More and more present to the breath, entering the body and leaving the body. So in your own time now, taking three deep breaths right down into the middle of your belly. And now returning to your normal breath again. And as you breathe in, and now just following the breath, not doing anything with it now, just following the breath, entering your body and leaving your body. And just noticing the parts of your body that are moving as you're breathing. And just see with your imagination, just notice the lungs filling up with air. Feeling that oxygen coming into your lungs and leaving your lungs. And then again with your imagination, just noticing all of the rest of your body being nourished by that oxygen. Down into all of the organs of your body your liver, your kidneys, your brain. Every cell of your body has been nourished by that breath. Every bone, every ligament, every part of your bloodstream, every single part of you is being nourished by that breath. So breathing in love and kindness and nourishment and filling your whole body right down into your toes and right up into the top of your head. And then letting go of the breath you no longer need. And then preparing to take in the next breath. And letting go. So just for the next, next minute or so, we'll just stay present to our own being, breathing in that breath into our body.
and preparing now to open our eyes and just look at all of the colours and shapes and objects around you. And if you're near a window, just looking out, you can see the sunshine today. And being aware of what we can hear. And bringing our awareness to our sense of smell. and to the sense of taste in our mouth. And feeling the texture of our clothing on our skin. And the air touching our skin. and the sense of awareness of ourselves. And just see if you feel more present to yourself right now, just greeting yourself, calling yourself by your name. Say good morning and how are you? So just before we prepare to do our Tai Chi this morning, I want to say welcome to Mags. You're very welcome. And Caroline Doherty, all the way from Australia. <laughs> You're very welcome. And Maria Downey and Noel. You're all very welcome. And if there's any questions or anything like that you'd like to put up, I, I see um, Betty and Eddie. And Carmel, hi Carmel, my childhood friend. Yeah. So the Tai Chi for me to just talk a little bit about before we do it, okay? So it's going to involve some movement and it's very, very gentle movement. So please know your own limitations of your own body about what movements you're able for. And, and what you'd like to do and to also know that we still get the same benefit if it is the case that we need to sit or to sit this out or sit some of it out that we still get the same benefit if we take part in just watching somebody doing it it's still that the body still receives the same healing if, if we're not able to do the movement but I would encourage you to do the movement if you can. Um, it's, it will involve some very gentle rocking and some movement of the hands. You're, we're not going to be standing on our head or anything. <laughs> so it's very, very gentle movement. And I'm going to be talking through the chakras. And the chakras that are in the body. And they come from different emotional energy in the body. And sometimes when things are happening us in our lives, these emotions and these meridians and these chakras, they go out of sync. And when we do the movement, it helps to bring them back into, it brings our awareness to them, number one, and then it brings them all back into sync. And we will find that we can manage our day or manage our problems a little bit better. So I'm going to take off my shoes. So please feel free to do that as well if you, if you can. And um, I'm going to move back my chair and just stand back a little bit so that you can see my whole body moving. Now you can see my whole body there. So you can see then standing now with my feet short distance apart. And you get a lovely strength and balance in your body if you just turn the toes out a little bit. You can feel then that the hips are feeling stronger so before we start the movement, just softening down the shoulders and leave your hands hang nice and loose at the side of your body. And we're going to swing from side to side, just like as if we were carefree, childlike, just softening down the back of the neck, 
soften the body. You can see I'm lifting my heel and moving my knee. So nothing is rigid in my body right now. And I'm breathing in lovely, nourishing breaths. And this is a wonderful um, movement to do. Like, you know, in the, about the evening, about three or four, when we feel very tired. So if you're hitting the, the kidney here, you're activating the adrenaline in your body and it boosts your energy. Yeah. So that was just a little um, movement, just to kind of get us lovely and free for the Tai Chi. So for the Tai Chi, we're going to start with the base chakra and it's down by the pubic bone. So we place our right hand and our left hand here. And the color here is a deep, deep red, like a cardinal red. So just breathe into this chakra. And this chakra is for our stability and our security. So softening the knees, bringing the hands to the side of the body and your fingers open. And we're going to be just moving the hands up, feeling the air going through your fingers, turning your hand around, bringing your hands back down. And as we go up, we breathe in. And as we come back down, we breathe out. And my feet then, I'm just going to rock a little bit forward on my toes and back on my heel. Please find your own level with this. Know your own comfortable. Bending the knees really helps. That's it. So getting a lovely rocking movement going. Bringing up the energy and the support from Mother Earth. And bringing down the support from the universe. As we think of our stability and our security, we shine that deep red colour when our stability and our security is out of sync. Feeling that support from Mother Earth and from the universe. So just enjoy the flow now of the movement. And coming back to center. So that's the first chakra done. And now we're going to move into the second chakra. And that's just underneath your belly button. Placing the right hand here and the left hand here. And the color here is orange. And this is for our creativity. And this time we're going to bring the left leg forward. And we're going to rock like if you were rocking a little baby. Rocking forward and back. So get that nice little rocking done, feeling all the muscles in your body really benefiting from the movement. And then we're going to bring the hands to the side of the body and circle around our creative chakra. And we think of all of the things that we've created. So thinking of the creativity when you're, we're putting a rig out together to wear, or when we're putting a meal together to cook, or a cake, or a painting, or knitting, or crochet, or we're putting the idea into our head for to go for a walk, and the creativity we put into that. For those of us that have had children pass through our bodies, the creativity that we brought a human being into the world. And the creativity of your body. The lungs and heart and brain and kidneys and liver and all of that creativity of your body working in your body.
And then without judgment, just looking at maybe the times that we have blocked our creativity. We may have been afraid to explore our creativity. So just without judgment, looking at like the genie in the bottle is like, think of what is possible for me to create? What am I blocking myself from? And breathing, shining that color orange on the creative part of you. And coming back to center. And now we're going to go to the bringing the right leg forward and circling around the creative chakra again. And we think of the creativity in our families. And the creativity in our community, like the creativity in the Lantern Project and all of the wonderful creativity they do. And every person that takes part in the Lantern Project brings their gifts and their creativity. And thinking of the creativity in the wider world. And shining that color orange when creativity is blocked. Not judging it, but just looking at it as like the wonder of it. If we took away the block, what else could we be possible to create? There'd be no limits. And coming back to centre. And now coming up into the third chakra. And that's here in the solar plexus. And the colour here is yellow. And this is our power chakra. So we're going to bring the left leg forward. And again we'll be rocking forward and back. And the hands are going to go in a circle movement. In a clockwise direction. In front of the power chakra as we walk forward and back. And we think about how we use our power. Again, not to be, not to try to change it or judge it right now, but just to see how we use our power in all of our essence. Maybe sometimes we can be overbearing in our power, especially when we're afraid. We're trying to struggle, we're trying to survive, so we can, we may not notice how we're behaving, so we might be overbearing. Not to judge that, but to just really just recognize it. Helping you to get to know, and maybe Sometimes we can be so, use our power in such a wonderful way. We can leave it shine and to do good for ourselves and do good for others. And shining that color yellow to bring in awareness about how we use our power. Maybe sometimes we give away our power to others to make decisions for us. Again, not to judge, but just to bring the awareness, shining that color yellow on the power chakra. And back to center. And the same movement now on the right hand side. And this time we're going to go anti-clockwise with our hands. And we think about how power is used in our families. 
and how power is used in our community and how power is used in the wider world and when we can see the injustice shining that colour yellow just to bring an awareness there coming back to centre. And now we come up into the heart chakra. And the colour here is green, covered with a rose colour for compassion. Bringing the left leg forward, rocking again. And what we hold in our hearts, it all overwhelms us sometimes with what we're holding in our own hearts. And we need to reach out and bring in that compassion from others. So opening my heart out to allow others in to help me with the compassion, to help me to what I hold in my heart. Reaching out and bringing in. Bringing in that rose colour for compassion and reaching out to others to help me. No man is an island. We all need each other so much. So if we could imagine that we could see each other right now. If we could send, like imagine we have a ball of compassion and if we could send that out to each other right now. Just imagine sending, thinking of those people that are dear to you, even the people that were challenged by sending them that ball of compassion. And coming back to centre, And the same movement now on the right hand side. So we're reaching out, thinking of our families, sending our families that love and compassion. Thinking of our community, all of the people that come in and out of the Lantern Project, sending you all love and compassion and kindness. And the wider world. Thinking of all of those who need our thoughts and love today, sending them compassion. And coming back into the centre. And now we come up into the throat chakra and the colour here is blue. And this is for our communication, how we communicate and sometimes we block what we want to say. And sometimes we say things that we're sorry we said. So it comes out of sync sometimes. So we're going to bring the left leg forward. And how we communicate, we're going to fly past the air and the mouth. So sometimes when we try to communicate, we can get blocked. It would be wonderful if we could just be free and be assertive and be able to express ourselves so freely. But we can fall into feeling, you know, behaving in a passive, passive-aggressive. We can become manipulative, aggressive. Just for a moment, just feeling what would like, what would be like if we could just love ourselves and respect ourselves enough to just be able to communicate freely. So 
So this is a wonderful technique for the back of the, the neck and the shoulders if we have tension there. Because when our communication is blocked, we can carry an awful lot of tension up there in the neck and the shoulders. So this is wonderful for anybody that's suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a wonderful release. It's a movement. Sometimes we don't have the words to express, so the movement will do it. And back to centre. And the same now on the right hand side. And we think about how our families communicate, and how our communities communicate and how the world, wider world communicates. So we have all of this wonderful technology now to communicate. And yet we might find it difficult to, to just communicate with somebody that's close to us or that lives nearby. Not to judge that, but just to be aware. What would it be like if we could just free that communication Like if we could just free that, it would be like the feeling of flying up over the trees and the green and the sea and feeling that wonderful freedom. That empowerment when we can communicate assertively. and coming back to centre. And now we're going to come up into the middle eye and the colour here is indigo. And this is for what we wish to attract into our lives. So seeing the vision of what we'd like to attract into our lives. So what do you want? It's like rubbing the genie button. What do you want? So we can create and Einstein says it's like, it's, it's actually a physics. So if we if we, if we want it, if we attract it to us, it has to happen. So we're going to bring the left leg forward. And first of all, we're going to bring the hands up through the middle eye. And we're going to shake away, you know, all those shoots that we have and the cans. Just shake them away. Leave Mother Earth hold them. She'd be delighted to hold them. So just shaking that off. And then open our hands up through the middle eye and Open up and see the vision of what you'd like to attract into your life. Breathing in, opening out the vision, and breathing in. And coming back to centre. And now we're going to go on the right leg and again going through the middle eye and shaking away the shoots and the cans again. And then opening out and seeing the vision of what you wish for your family. See the vision of the community that you live in. And for the world that you live in.
and coming back to center. And now we're going to go up over the crown chakra, and this is the only chakra that's outside of your body, so it is a, a very a vivid white light, and it's just above your crown. So this time, we're going to bring the feet a little bit wider, bending the knees, bringing the hips forward. And we're going to stand like a goddess, holding this chakra, this divine white light. And we're going to go on our toes a little bit and opening out this divine light, pouring right down through your body. We do this three times. Feeling that connection with all, our connection with the planet, with the, everybody, all the animals, the trees, the fish, the seas, the universe, and then just circling that divine light right down through your body, feeling your connection with all. And back to your goddess stance and again three times opening out feeling that divine light pouring right down through you. Bringing your hands back down and we're going to finish with just passing clouds. So just bringing your hand in front of your face and going from side to side. And we think with that deep red chakra, the base chakra, for our stability and our security. And the orange for our creativity. And the yellow for our power. And the green for what we hold in our hearts covered with a rose colour for compassion and the blue for our communication and the indigo for what we wish to attract into our lives and the white for our oneness with all and we we'll bring the hands up over our head just touching the fingers together and we bring them down by our heart, knowing that I must love and respect myself before I can love and respect another. Do that one more time. To love and respect myself before I can love and respect another. Thank you. That's the Chakra Tai Chi. So we might say, we can say Namaste, which Namaste means I honor the divine in me and the divine in you. And in Ireland we might say, bless you, bless you, or deal with. It's finding what suits you. <laughs> just check the, the time. Okay, so we might just finish now with a, a nice deep relaxation. So just allow yourself to get nice and comfortable. Maybe you might have a blanket or something there to make yourself nice and comfortable with. So just allowing your body now to relax. I can see Ita there and Valerie and Eileen. And if there's anybody who would like to ask a question, please feel free to do that. So just coming back into your seat now and just relaxing. You might want to lay down or you might want to sit. You might want to stand. This is beautiful. You can relax even standing in a garden. And just breathing in that lovely nourishing breath. And as you breathe out now, allowing your body to relax. 
Just softening your shoulders. Leave your shoulders melt like ice cream. Softening your jawbone. Placing your thumb on your palate. Opening your lips and letting the air flow through your nose. It sounds like as if the sea coming in and out. So breathing in, listening to the breath. And as you breathe out, allowing yourself to go deeper and deeper into re relaxation. Allowing the body to get heavier and heavier. Bringing in that lovely, warm, nourishing breath. Breathing in warmth, nourishment, compassion, kindness. Nourishing your whole body and then letting go of the breath no longer needed. And relaxing. Relax the spine. Leave your hands hang. Allow your hands to become as heavy as lead. Relaxing your legs. Allowing your legs to become as heavy as lead. Softening every muscle of your body. And as you relax, just clearing your mind and just focusing on the breath coming in. So just saying, as the breath goes in, say, I breathe in. And as the breath leaves, say, I breathe out. That keeps the mind busy and will, will help you not to get distracted by other thoughts. So I breathe in. I breathe out. I breathe in. I breathe out. So the beauty of being at home now, you might be all rested. So just stay there. I'm going to finish the Facebook Live, but you might like to just stay relaxed. Take care and I'll see you all again next Thursday.